Hi guys, welcome to my video. So, I will talk about social disorganization theory. Social disorganization theory grew out research conducted in Chicago by Shaw and McKay in 1942. So, this is Clifford Shaw and this is Henry D. McKay the two criminology researcher from Chicago School of Criminology. In sociology, the social disorganization theory uh, is related to uh, ecological theory. The theory directly links to neighborhood ecological characteristics. And a core principle of social disorganization theory uh, that state uh, in location matter. In other words, uh, a person's residential location is a substantial factor shaping the likelihood that a person has a chance to involve in illegal activities. Marunong ka naman ito, di ba? Of course! <laughs> oh, ayan ako pa! Oh. <laughs> And... Bilis! Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Why social disorganization theory is important? Social disorganization theory is widely used as an important predictor of a youth violence and crime. Also, the theory of social disorganization states a person's physical and social environment are primarily responsible for the behavior choices that a person makes. They see crime not only as an individual wrong, uh, but rather it is a societal ill. This theory is not intended to apply all types of crime, just street crimes in the neighborhood level. Also, this theory has not been used to explain organized crime, corporate crime, or deviant behavior that takes place outside the neighborhood settings. So guys, that's all for my first video. I hope you have learned what we have discussed about social disorganization theory thank you for listening and god bless stay safe